But let's go over a couple points here to remember. And then we'll finish the video here. If you've made it this far, if you're a new versionist, I applaud you. Because most of you are thin-skinned and can't take a lot of rebuke. You start talking about libel and slander and things like this. Okay? Be a man. Okay? Take it. Point number one. Attacking the King James Version only gives aid and comfort to the enemy. You cause the Word of God to be blasphemed when you attack the King James Bible and offer nothing perfect to replace it with. When you have multiple versions, multiple contradicting versions that you call the Word of God, you cause God's book to be blasphemed. Point number two. The new versions all are tied to the Roman Catholic Church. Documented. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Oh, conspiracy-minded believers. Oh, conspiracy. Uh, conspiracies in the Bible. Okay? God actually said to different people throughout the Bible, there's a conspiracy. Conspiracies in the dictionary. See, they use this term that has been used by the news media to brainwash people. As soon as they hear conspiracy, they go, oh, I don't believe in that. But it is a conspiracy. I mean, if Satan was going to create a counterfeit Bible, what would it look like? It would look like this. It wouldn't look like the Satanic Bible by Anton LaVey. It would look like that. I mean... You see? Counterfeit. Satanic counterfeit. True Word of God. Number three. Point number three, the no perfect Bible crowd of professing quote unquote Christians is forced to join with Muslims, atheists, evolutionists, Catholics in their attacks on the King James Version. Isn't that weird? I've seen these people that attack the King James Version, they profess to be Christians, and they use the same arguments and the same attacks that the atheists use. Isn't that weird? Do you reckon the Holy Spirit is behind that movement right there? Is the Holy Ghost telling these people what to say in attack against the King James Version? No. You know, I guess maybe the Holy Ghost is using the is, is inspiring the same attacks that the New Versionists use, and they're all he's also inspiring the atheists and Catholics and evolutionists. Right. Point number four. Only someone who is King James only can answer the lost in terms of Bible versions. You have somebody that's lost that comes along, like Ken Hovind did in the, in the clip I showed earlier there. Which one? Oh, the Bible says it. Which one? The King James Bible. It's easy. I'm King James only. I can do that. You can't do that if you're over here. Which one? Oh, they are all the Word of God. <laughs> They all say the same thing. No, they don't. You make yourself out to be a fool if you proclaim that these are all saying the same thing. Anybody, a third grader, a fifth grader, third grader, three-year-old, anybody, I mean, if they learn how to read at that age, they could prove you wrong. <laughs> Anyhow, let's continue on here. Point number five. Why are there no NIV-only groups? I don't know of any. Point number six, the end times in which we are now living, and there again, if you don't believe we're in the end times, you, <laughs> I feel sorry for you. We are living in the end times, and they, the Bible says that it would be a time of falling away, not a time of revival. Let's look at a couple verses here quick. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. The falling away there is not the rapture, okay? I do believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. I do teach a pre-tribulation rapture, but I don't have to try and twist that scripture to make it teach a pre-tribulation rapture, okay? It doesn't, okay? At least not the falling away somehow means the catching up. No, it doesn't. Okay, the falling away there means apostasy. That's what it means. And that's exactly what has happened. I mean, I can go back to my childhood, which is not that far back. You know, I'm not that old. But I can go back to my childhood. There were no churches like there are today back when I was a kid. 
You know, the churches now are wicked. They are just an abomination. It's disgusting what goes on in the modern churches. You know, I wouldn't be caught dead in one. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 through 2. We'll go there next. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Hello. <laughs> you a new versionist? Or one of these King James only people? that preaches out of the King James Bible, but you don't believe it's God's Word? You know what you do? You speak lies in hypocrisy. And the Holy Ghost has not told you to say and to be a liar like you are. The father of lies is Satan, not the Lord. And you stand up there and you say, Turn in your Bible and we will read what the Word of God has for us today. Why would you call a book the Word of God when you don't believe it's perfect? When you believe it has errors in it? speaking lies in hypocrisy. You see, if you say to the saved, I don't believe the King James Bible is perfect, I believe in the NIV or something, but the NIV is not perfect either. But then you turn around to the lost and you say, this is God's perfect word. It God's inspired and errant word. You are a lying hypocrite. That's what you are. So you see there, in those three verses, and there are plenty more, Okay, evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. I mean, you could just you could spend an hour looking at all the scriptures to talk about a spiritual falling away in the last days. And yet somehow, you know, the new versions aren't part of it. You know, it's ridiculous. They are the cause of it. Okay, they change the truth of God into a lie. Subject for another video. So the end times is characterized by an, 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 an just an incredible falling away. A famine of hearing the word of the Lord. It even says that back in the Old Testament, book of Amos. But finally, I just want to end this video with a little bit of instruction for King James Bible believing Christians. Okay? Here, this is for you. If you're a new versionist, this doesn't apply to you. Okay? Well, it does, but in a negative sense. King James Bible believers, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 2 through 4. Preach the Word. How can you preach the Word if you don't have it? Okay? That's why I said this is for King James Bible believers. Preach the Word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine. Reprove, rebuke. Those are negative. Exhort. That's positive. Don't be all negative. Don't be all positive. Okay? You do need to do some reproving. You do need to do some rebuking. But you also have to exhort. I'm going to do some more videos on that in the future. But with all long-suffering and doctrine. I know that my fellow King James Bible believers on here on YouTube, you are all long-suffering. Okay? A lot of people get on and they start getting some, some attacks and they quit. Those of you that have been on here for a while, you've had to practice the thing of being long-suffering. <laughs> uh, you're taking your time out to be here to strengthen people's faith in the Word of God. Your labor's not in vain. Okay? But let's continue on here. Verse 3. For the time will come when they will not, when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. That's the kind of garbage that people are going to go for. James White's ridiculous nonsense. Why? Because they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to return to the old paths. They, don't, they want to go forward, move forward. You know, we believe in evolution. The Bibles get better with time. Well, then when are we going to expect a perfect Bible? If all these new versions have come out and they're getting better and better and better and better, well, common sense would tell you that they eventually become perfect. And yet that's not what they believe. That's not what they teach. You see, no, 
the reality of it is evolution is a fairy tale for grown-ups. Okay, Ruckman's got some good stuff on that. Perfection was here. For almost 400 years, it's been available. The King James Bible. This is your standard. Okay? And the time is going to come when the people will not endure this. Do not expect to be here on YouTube and get a million viewers and 5,000 subscribers. Our time is limited here on YouTube. These new versionists, these, the Sodomites, the Catholics, the New Agers, evolutionists, atheists, there's one group and one book that they're against. Right here. The modern conform to the world. They look like the world. They act like the world. They talk like the world. They listen to the world's music. They fit in. The King James Bible believed that gets out on the street and preaches and yells and tells people about their sin and talks about hell and repentance and things like that and King James onlyism. We're the crowd that's on the way out. Okay? The time has come, has come, when people aren't going to endure this book. So what's your job here on YouTube? Your job is to get those few that are out there, okay, and the ones that are confused about the issue. Show them the truth. That's why you're here. That's why I'm here. Do you think I have all kinds of spare time to just come here and make videos and post them and spend hours and hours and hours and hours putting these things together? Why am I here? If I couldn't give you a perfect book, what on earth would be the point? <laughs> I'm here because I want people to have the authority of God's Word in their own hands and to be able to be taught by the Holy Spirit, okay? And by the way, for those of you out there, the Alexandrian cult philosophy, they say that the King James Bible doesn't say Holy Spirit. Yes, it does. Here's the reference, okay? The King James Bible uses both. Another issue. But that's it for right now. Be careful. If you are a new versionist, let me just say this. Be careful that what you post on here isn't used by the lost world to blaspheme this book because God's going to have something to say about that. All right? King James Bible believer, continue in the things which you've learned. Earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered to the saints. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. It's been a long video, but uh, thank you for enduring. <laughs> That's it.